Good evening. My name is Akshay, and today uh, I'm here to introduce you people to our very first chapter of grammar that is called sentence. Now we all know that sentence is a group of word which makes complete sense. For example, I have given example number one. That's birds fly. Here, bird is the subject. Birds is the subject. and fly is the verb so if we have to do if we have to identify in a sentence what is a subject and what a what a predicate is we can simply i can simply put birds as a subject and the rest verb as a predicate we can also write predicate here now the second sentence is children like ice cream here we have children as a subject because we are talking about children like is the verb which is followed by the subject and ice cream is the object so here it's an action verb like is an action verb children does something and she likes something and what is it it's ice cream so ice cream is the object now the third sentence is ravi gave me a 100 rupee note here ravi is the subject gave is the verb and me a 100 rupee note is the object me is the indirect object and a 100 rupee note is a direct object now whenever we find this type of sentence and whenever we get confused whether which one is the indirect object or which one is a direct object we have to simply keep one thing in mind the indirect object will always be a human being or a living being living being that you have to remember and then the indirect object has to be always it will be the non living thing the other way around we can say is like the indirect object is always the beneficiary here who gets the money it's me who gets the money so i am the indirect object okay now question example number 4 it says mr bhat is a doctor here mr bhat is the subject is is the verb and a doctor is a complement now some children get confused with what is the object what is the difference between an object and a complement so children have to understand this whenever we have an action verb whenever the subject performs some sort of action the noun or pronoun after the verb is an object or any word which has the force of noun or pronoun will be the object for example it could be a noun or pronoun. like here we have ice cream but it could be a gerund or it could be an infinitive as well or a noun phrase or an or a, a noun clause it could be there it could be so we have to be very particular when we see the sentence the third is mr bhat is a doctor here mr bhat is a doctor means what is mr bhat he is a doctor so here mr bhat and doctor has a direct relation however it is worth mentioning that is a is a helping verb and it's not an action verb so doctor is not a com it's not an object rather it's a complement which is because it talk about mr but we'll take another session for complement the on the difference between object and complement uh here i simply want you to understand the basic thing the basic structure i have written five structure that in actually there are uh, around 20 or 25 structure in english language for simple sentence which is normally taught in school but what we can do is we don't have to go in that sort of length because we are in standard 8 so what we'll do is we'll study small uh, sentences so that we have a bit better understanding so here i am just writing five type of sentences simple sentences the first one is subject plus verb the second one is very common one subject verb and object the the third one is subject verb and direct object and direct object fourth one is subject verb and complement and fourth one is subject verb plus adverbial 
which reads the horse runs very fast here the horse runs how very fast so very fast the two word together serves an as adverbial it talks about how how the verb the the horse runs so it is called adverbial means very fast serves as an adverb and so it is called an adverbial now i won't lend this session too much what i am going to do is i am going to give you a i am going to explain myself once more here what we are studying is we have studied five type of sentences what we have to look is that what where is the subject and post the subject whatever is said about the subject is the predicate that's it we are solely focusing on where is the subject and after that what will be the predicate now my two requests to you children are the first of all you have learned how to write simple five sentence structure which is there i want you to write one example of each like subject and verb the second one would be subject verb and object the third one example would be you can write any any examples which uh, writes you which you wherein you can quote that this is subject verb object plus object example of sentence or subject verb complement you have to understand this very the basic thing and then i have given an exercise i want you to focus on this exercise and you have to circle the subjects and underline the predicates in the following sentences i'm just giving the uh, brief sight of this and uh, i want you to carefully look at this exam uh, this exercise and try to write it in a rough copy as an exercise for today so this is all the video all about uh, i am doing this video and i am also wanting this video to length it to uh, for three sessions which will i'll be discussing um, simple sim uh, the sentence then i'll be discussing phrase and then i'll be discussing clause i will try my level best to teach you how to write a clear and simple sentence first how to understand the different aspect of sentence for example the sentence the object the complement uh, so on and then we will move on to our next session wherein i'll be discussing phrase and uh, i'll be giving you some phrases in the next session and uh, then in the third session i'll be discussing the clause but as of now you have to just simply understand what is sentence like what is a sentence and you have to identify the subject and the predicate that's it for today the answers for these questions i'll attach it for your tomorrow session okay thank you have a have a great evening bye